made a chord. By now, I could not believe whenever we came in, there was snow on the ground. I moved down here to get away from that stuff. And now this morning I had to deal with it. But anyway, the Lord is good. And today is all praise and worship, which means we get an opportunity to worship the Lord for the whole service and give him all the praise and honor and glory that he deserves. So uh, you that are watching us from the camera this morning, behind the camera, we welcome you into our service, and we hope that you're going to praise and worship with us in your home or wherever you may be. So what I'm going to do this morning is I'm going to read from two psalms, and they both concern praise and worship. And the first psalm is Psalm 148. Psalm 148 says, Praise Adonai from the heavens. Praise him from the highest. Praise him in all his angels. Praise him in all his armies. Praise him sun and moon. Praise him all stars of light. Praise him highest heavens and waters above the heavens. And let them praise the name of Adonai, for he commanded and they were created. He set them in place forever and ever. He made a decree that will never pass away. In Psalm 49, hallelujah, sing to Adonai a new song. His praise is the assembly of the Kiddushim. Let Israel rejoice in its maker. Let the children of Zion be glad in their king. Let them praise his name with dancing. Let them sing praises to him with the tambourine and the harp. For Adonai takes pleasure in his people. He crowns the humble with salvation. Let the Kedeshim exalt in glory. Let them sing for joy on their beds. Let God's high praises be in their mouth and the two-edged sword in their hand to execute vengeance upon the nations. You know, godly, God truly inhabits our praise and worship. He commands us to do that. That's why he created us. He created us, his children, so we give the Father praise back. And he, he, he loves to hear us praise and worship him. So, like, whenever I pray, like uh, anytime I'm praying, first thing I do is I start out praising him. Then I start out worshiping him. And, of course, I ask for forgiveness for any sins that there might be that I might not know about or I created in my life so I can have a humble heart and a clean heart whenever I come before him and ask him for prayer. So praise opens the gates for worship. We start our service with praise songs which lead to worship. Worship is not a tool of manipulation. It's not something we do to get something from God. It's an expression of our love, devotion, and reverence for who he is, an awesome, beautiful, and holy God. Amen? Amen. As believers, we need to worship the Lord not only in spirit, but also in truth. And that is according to the word of God. True worship is not about reciting the right words or getting the liturgy exactly right. It's about the condition of our heart. When we worship God, whether it be with an exuberant singing, dancing, shouting, or loud instruments, or in quiet thanksgiving, with a sincere heart, we touch eternity. And are assured of victory in Yeshua HaMashiach. Can I get a witness? Amen. 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 So that's what we're going to do this morning. We're going to, you know, uh, after I do the prayer, we're going to turn it over to Darren. And we're going to have a wonderful praise and worship this morning. And uh, I think you'll really please God this morning with what we do. So, uh, Lord, we just thank you for this day. We thank you for the opportunity to gather in your house, to be able to worship and praise you, and uh, to uh, give thanks to an almighty God that created us, you know, to be praise and and worship to him. We just thank you, Father, for everyone that's here this morning. Uh, We know it's cold, and we know it's... uh, uh, not the exact kind of weather we would like outside, but we all have warm hearts. And that's going to warm us up in here this morning. So I just thank you for that, Father. I just thank you and praise you and magnify your holy name in the name of Yeshua HaMashiach. Amen.